Lesson 4.4, find point given slope of the tangent line. We're given a function, f of x, it's a cubic function, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 8x plus 19. Our job is to determine all the coordinate points. We need to end up with ordered pairs on the graph of f such that the line tangent to f has a slope of 1. So we're trying to find all the points where there would be little tangent lines that have a slope of positive 1. Your first step would be to find the derivative. So f prime of x would equal 3x squared minus 3 times 2 is 6x minus 8. The 19 will go away. And what we're saying here is that the derivative of some x has to have a slope of 1. So I'm going to do kind of a substitution or say, well, this slope, this needs to equal 1. So I'm going to set 3x squared minus 6x minus 8 equal to 1, saying where what x values have a slope of 1. Now hopefully you remember back to algebra that this is a quadratic. Um, to solve a quadratic, your options are quadratic formula or factoring or um, the, the, I can't even think of it. When you don't have a b term, you can just solve it by square roots method is what it's called. But I have to have this set equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract the 1 from negative 8 and I get 3x squared minus 6x minus 9. Good thing is I can take out a 3 from all of the terms. So factor that out. I get x squared minus 2x minus 3. The 3 means nothing to me since it doesn't have an x with it. So I'm going to try to factor this further. I know it has to start with x times x. Now I have to figure out what two numbers multiply to make negative 3 that add to make negative 2. I need more negatives, so it would be a negative 3 and a positive 1. And each of these factors needs to be set equal to 0. So if I had x minus 3 equal to 0, I would add the 3 over, so that's 3. This one I would subtract the 1, so my answer is negative 1. So I found the x values. So let me go ahead and set up my order pairs, 3 comma something and negative 1 comma something. Whenever you're wanting to get the points, you don't want to plug that back into your slope. You want to plug it back into the original to get the y values. So we'll find f of 3 and f of negative 1. So I'll have 3 cubed minus 3 times 3 squared, minus 8 times 3 plus 19, and negative 1 cubed minus 3 times negative 1 squared, minus 8 times negative 1 plus 19, and I would just plug that straight into my calculator. I got negative 5 when I plugged in 3, and I got 23 when I plugged in negative 1. Um, so let's look at this graph here. And again, this is something I just put on here so that this would um, kind of solidify what you're trying to do, but this won't be on Delta Math. Let's plot the point 3, negative 5, which would be here, and negative 1, 23 would be here. Our whole job was to figure out at what ordered pairs would there be a slope of a tangent line of positive 1. And what's kind of cool here is you can see that this point is not quite at the maximum. So our slope here would be something like this. So you can see that that does look like a positive 1 slope. Here, same thing. We're not quite at the minimum, the very bottom. We're a little bit past. So the tangent line would be something like this, which also has a slope of positive 1. But anywhere else, here, this would be a very, very steep slope of the tangent line. It would become 0 at the maximum. Then it would become very negative, 0 at the minimum, and then very positive. So it looks correct that only those two points would actually have a slope of 1.